So solution. So to find the equation of any line, we need a slope and a point. We've already got the point, right? We've already got the point. We just need the slope. What is the slope of the tangent line? What is that called? The slope of the tangent line is the what? Is the, is the derivative. Yeah, so the derivative. So all we have to do in this problem is find the derivative and plug in the number 6 to find the slope. But they give us the derivative. So this is the slope at x, right? So this is the slope at x, right? This is the slope at x, right? That's what this is, right, of the tangent line. So we need the slope at x equals 6. So all we do is we plug in 6. So f prime of 6 equals, this is really easy if you just have to know how to do it. So 2 square root 6 minus 2. So this is the slope of the tangent line at x equals 6, right? Because the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. That's the main, that's the main thing. This is 1 over 2 square root of 4. It's 1 over 2 times 2, so it's 1 over 4. So m is 1 fourth. That's the slope of the tangent line. That's the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so main idea, right, is, is that the derivative is the slope of the function, or just the slope of the, more precisely, the slope of the tangent line. So now that you have the slope of the tangent line, you have a point, a, a point and a slope, you just use this formula. So the formula is y minus y1 equals m. Do you all remember what goes here? X minus x. Yep, x minus x1. You can use y equals mx plus b also, if you like. Um, it's up to you. I like to use this one. Um, I got into like this discussion once with this other teacher about it. He's like, oh, it's easier to use that y equals mx plus b. He's like, he was really passionate about it. And now I gave up. So just plug everything in, right? So this is, this is x1, y1. Just plug it in. So it'll be y minus 2. Yeah, minus 2. Is that right? Minus 2. And then what was m? 1, one, one fourth? One four, well, there it is. 1 fourth. Thanks. I zoned out. 1 fourth. And then uh, x minus 6. six. six. Yeah, it's over here. 6. 6. I was thinking about something. I was thinking about that teacher. So x minus 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use y equals mx plus b, but it requires more work. This, I like this one. You just plug everything in, right? Almost done. Almost done. So step one in this problem, plug in the number to the slope to the function. The slope function. I just called it that. That's what it is, right? It's a function that produces slopes. You plug in x values, it spits out a slope. We plugged in 6, it gave us 1 fourth. Step two, write the formula down, plug everything in. Um, I guess we can distribute the 1 fourth. So we get y minus 2 equals, so 1 fourth x minus, and then 1 fourth times 6 is uh, 3 over 2, 3 over 2, 3 over 2. And then you just have to add 2 to both sides, right? So when you're adding 2, you can think of it as 4 over 2, right? So that you can, you can add these. So 4 over 2. So we'll have 4 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is just 1 over 2. Did I do that right? Yeah. 1 over 2. And that's it. That's the equation of the tangent line. 